Aloha, my friends, and happy day after the full moon. The energies are still very high. A lot of things are really deeply processing. I just wanted to jump on here and share with you all what are the energies that got really activated with this full moon? What are sort of the energy themes that we might all be collectively feeling or processing through? And so with this full moon, we had the sun in Scorpio. And the sun in Scorpio is a very deep, intense energy. Scorpio represents the subconscious, the depth of our intuition, the depth of feeling and emotion. It's a water sign. The three symbols for Scorpio are the scorpion on the ground. Aho, horse brother. It's the eagle that rises up high and it is the phoenix that transcends all difficulties to arise into its highest self. And so Scorpio is a very intense energy. It's very deeply associated with depth and transformation. And so Scorpio can bring a lot of things up to the surface to be seen, to be felt, to be experienced. Some say Scorpio deals with issues of jealousy, of control, power, manipulation, the deep energies, right? And so with the sun shining, illuminating that constellation, it's a very deep, intense energy, okay? And so that is one side of this full moon. The other side is that the moon was directly opposing it in Taurus. And Taurus is the, is the complete opposite of the depth and intensity of Scorpio. It is the earth. Where Scorpio is the water, it is the earth. It is about grounding. It is about nature. It is about all the beautiful things that we see in our alive physical reality, right? It's about building things. Whereas Scorpio is about releasing things. And so this is a very powerful dynamic between the two energies, where one part of us, the emotion, the moon, the lunar, the feminine, is seeking to build, seeking to create an internal sanctuary, seeking to connect and ground. Taurus also rules the throat. And so we have a sign that is affecting the throat chakra, okay? And that could be bringing up a lot of themes around communication, expressions, sharing our truth, speaking our truth, singing, right? So is there something that you would really like to express? Is there something you would like to bring forth or build, right? And so it's really powerful time to get into that energy. And I just really great because this woman is driving by, right, in her truck. And, and she's a woman, right? And Venus rules Taurus. Taurus is ruled by the, the planet Venus, which is feminine energy. It's the goddess. And here she is in this big truck with a load of hay. And it's such a great, amazing representation of Taurus energy and that perhaps the feminine of the collective is seeking to build uh, stability, security, solidity, whereas the sun in Scorpio could represent the masculine side is in a sort of dissolution or release or letting go of old deep energies that have perhaps been keeping them stuck or held back. It could also be a time where themes of jealousy versus allowance, acceptance are playing out. Um, Scorpio rules the reproductive system and so sexuality, deep things around sexuality, around things in our unconscious could be coming up to the surface and Taurus the throat. So communicating and, and since Scorpio rules the reproductive organs and sexuality, you know, if we think about sexuality on a deeper level, it's really just core energy that we can use for creation, right? And so Scorpio really rules that raw vital power of our essence, right? That powerful, powerful creative energy that can either create or destroy. And so with Scorpio, the choice is always yours. What are you going to choose to do with it? Are you going to create with that energy or destroy? And with the moon and Taurus being about building, my suggestion would be to build and to create and to let go of, utilize the energy, the power of Scorpio's primal energies to release and clear those energies that no longer serve you so that you don't have to hold on to them anymore. And then funnel that energy into the depth of creative power, connect to Mother Earth, and build your creation of that which supports you and sustains you and nourishes you as you come more and more into your full power, your full expression, your full ability to share and reveal and communicate your truth and who you are and why you're here. Oh, it's just so beautiful where I am right now. 
and I'm so grateful to be out in nature having this sort of ceremony or sacred connection to the earth. I think it's so important and so powerful when we have these full moons and new moons. I make it a ritual to get out into nature and to connect to the land, to connect to myself, to connect to the energy, space, and frequency of creation because nowhere else is creation energy more powerfully found than in the earth and on the ground and all around us. And so I just want to send you so much love, so much light for this day, for this moment, connecting to the beauty of nature, to the beauty of love that's all around us. And I just want to honor you all and wish you all a happy full moon time, really hoping that you get to take this energy and allow whatever is not serving you to come up to the surface, to rise up and out, and to release it. And at the same time, funnel that creative energy into what nourishes you, what supports you, what supports and sustains you, so that you can grow forward towards your next destination. So take this time, I'm really getting the message. Take time out right now, rest, recuperate, nourish yourself. It's a lot of big energies being brought up to the surface to be let go. Powerful, powerful energy. So I send you so much love, so much light from this beautiful day and wishing you all the best and brightest in manifestation and creation, whatsoever it is that you wish to create and achieve. May you do it with ease and joy and glory. So much love. Aloha.